Welcome back, everybody. Hi, my name is Jill from Go English Coach. In our class yesterday, we discussed uh, present perfect, and we kind of had started in class one looking at present perfect and present per perfect progressive. So, um, and now I'm just kind of taking um, now I'm just kind of taking a little bit of a step back and making sure we've got a full great foundation in this present perfect tense. So what we have here um, for our formula, right? We've got subject. So I, she, the dogs, the company, you know, any subject is always our first part. The next part of this equation has, um, you have two choices, has or have, and then the participle. What is the participle? It is a form of the verb that we use in this tense. So um, it is well worth your time to study the participles, and especially for the irregular verbs, okay? So we now have two examples. I've got here, I have known her for years, for years, for years. Okay, so we're looking at these two kind of distinctions between these sentences. Um, and the second example is she has driven that car since 2020. Now, if you remember, I hope that you do, um, we use for in the present perfect to discuss a period of time, a period of time. So we say for and since. For and since. Since is one point in time, okay? So you can say, I've known her since I was young. Um, and, and that's then using um, also in there the past tense as well. Let's take a look at how we make the present perfect in a negative form, okay? So if we use these two sentences as examples, um, we're looking at what does the, what does this, equation change to okay so if this is the equation for this one for the positive what does it look like for the negative okay so um she has not driven that car since 2020 okay so let's make our we've got our subject plus has or have plus not plus the participle, okay? Simple, it's a long word. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is our uh, formula, okay? Now, let's do, let's convert, let's change this sentence to this sentence and this sentence to negative. So I have known her for years. Let's apply this formula and see what we get. So we've got I have um, not. Um, I have not known, yep, just making sure I've got everything right, her for years, okay? I have not known her for years. You might want to, you know, in that scenario, you might want to give a little bit more information. I've not known her for years. It's more like I haven't known her very long, Um. okay? But just for the sake of this activity, let's just keep it like, all in the same structure, okay? So we're, we're putting in the not in between the have, has, and the participle. So she has not driven that, okay, car since 2020, okay? She has not driven that car since 2020, meaning the car has been sitting there. She hasn't driven it. That's kind of what that sentence is saying. Okay. Um, great. So the next piece, so that's fairly easy, right? That's fairly easy. You're just inputting, um, you're inputting the word not into the sentence um, in between have, has, and the participle. I have not known her for years. She has not driven that car since 2020. Okay. What we're what what I'd like to talk about here is also as we always have to talk about in English are the contractions, right? So what are our contractions here? 
Okay, and remember, contractions are a completely um, normal part of the English language. So it does not mean it is more formal, and it does not mean it's more casual. It's a natural part of written and spoken English, okay? So feel free to use these. Um, the only time I would say to not use a lot of contractions are in like very, very formal um, parts of, you know, like writing. So for example, if you are, you know, not really emails, but I'm saying if you're writing like a professional article or a paper um, for maybe you're in college or you're working on your degree, um, you know, in those scenarios, I would not use contractions just because that's part of that real high level formality and formal writing, okay? But in, even in professional emails and, um, you know, really any anywhere you can use contractions in, in written and spoken English. All right, so we've got the two have not, okay? And then we've got has not. Now, if you've been, since you guys are advanced level students, I'm sure you're pretty aware of how this works. We combine them and we've got haven't and hasn't. Okay, haven't and hasn't, hasn't. Okay, so let's look at the pronunciation of those words. We've got ha, okay, haven't, haven't, and hasn't. As it's very small, very short, we don't exaggerate it. That sound, the if sound is literally never exaggerated because it's a very short, small, relaxed sound. Um, so just get comfortable using those. I haven't known her for years. She hasn't driven that car since 2020. Okay, I haven't known her for years. She hasn't driven that car since 2020. So let's look at how we form the question. What's the formula for the question? So has she driven that car since? So we switch the order here. Okay, so we move the have and has to the beginning, then the subject plus the participle, okay? All right, so that's our new formula. You guys got it? I hope you guys are taking notes because I really think that's an important part. So to, let's make these questions. So let's starting starting with these two here. Let's change the order and make them um, into questions. So if we've got, I have known her for years, it's now going to be, have I known, known her for years. Okay, sometimes when you take these sentences and switch them, it's kind of like, well, would I really ever ask that question? It's kind of strange. So when we look at some of the exercise, when we look at some of the exercises together, you know, then you'll see like, oh, okay, this makes a little bit more sense. So we're just sticking with this. So we've got, you can see the patterns essentially here. Okay. Um, okay. Has she, has she driven um, that car since 2020, okay? Has she driven that car since 2020? Great, so it's just, just a simple process of just changing the order, okay? Very simple. Um, the next part that I'd like to talk about is how do we answer these questions? So have I known her for, for years? Yes, I have. And we do not, we do not make attraction, no contraction here on the positive, on the yes. Okay, yes, I have. And no, I haven't. You can contract this. You can. Here, you can't. Can't, okay? All right. Has she driven that car since 2020? Yes. What's the response for yes? She has or no, she hasn't, okay? Easy. Just using our, um, we're using our contractions here in the negative, but not in the positive. 
Okay. 